come back, I want us to use number lines. Number lines to solve a number line or number lines to solve inequality. When you have x is less than 5, it means from this 5, The line will start going from 5 to 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on. That is, x is less than 5. Let's show you, let me show you. If you have this, we have, let's say, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. There is no minus 0. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This continued and this continued. So, this statement said x is less than 5. So if x is less than 5, I did not check this because they did not say it's less than or equal to. If it's equal to, you check the circle. But if it's only less than, you draw from that 5, Continue with this now x is less than 5. That's the solution for x is less than 5 using number line But if you have that x is greater than or equal to Let's say 3 With this You draw a number line You can see I started from 5 and moved down and move to the left hand side so if x is greater than or equal to 3 it means that this number line will look like this you have 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 let's stop here it's continued 1 2 3 4, there is a space, 5. It also continued. So from 3 now, the set is equal to, uh, greater than or equal to. So from 3, you shed it, since there is equal to sign. From here now, you draw your arrow. Your arrow moves to the right since it's greater than all these numbers sorry i started from four set three so three is inclusive x is greater than three it's inclusive so that's equal to this is how number line goes. But apart from number line, let's solve a linear inequality. A linear inequality. Questions on a linear inequality. This is using number line to solve it. But let's get to a question, solve it, and use number line to represent it. So, if we are given something like Um, if you are giving x plus 2 is less than 5, to find x and represent it in a number line, 
Here now, find x and represent it in a number line. So the first thing we do, your solution. Your solution, then you continue. When you collect like terms now, x plus 2 equal, um, is less than 5. When you collect like terms, you have x is less than 5 minus 2. Because this one cross the equal sign, cross the less than sign, it works like equal to sign. So when it crosses the equal sign, the sign change from plus to minus. So that's why we have minus here. So you have x is less than 3. We are done solving. So for you to represent it in number line, you draw a line. Remember, it's less than 3. 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. You have 1, 2, 3, 4. It also continues. So from here now, it said x is less than 3. So from 3 now, remember it's not equal to. Since it's less than 3 and it's not equal to, you draw a line, you move as much as you can. Remember this arrow because the numbers in negative did not stop at minus 3. Remember this arrow. This arrow indicates that it also involves other numbers apart from minus 3. So that's how we solve inequalities using number line but what we will do now or what I will advise you is I'll give kind of a work you will do when I give you the work do it we will solve more complicated works when we come back in the next lesson See you in our next lesson. Don't be in a haze. Be calm. Stay safe. Please run away from trouble. Although it must surely come, but run away from trouble and enjoy mathematics. Thank you.